Hi Stampers, it's Christy with Stampin' Texas. I've got a fun and cute little treat holder I wanted to share with you today. This would work well for any little treat that's kind of a thinner treat. And the little Hershey bars, the mini Hershey bars like this work really well. So that's what I'm going to use today. Both of these treat holders use the Sunshine and Sprinkles Designer Series paper. And I'm going to use this for our sample. What I did is I've cut two pieces from that paper to two and a half by five inches. And you're going to run that through the two tags die. Looks like this. I just laid both of them on top, ran it through the Big Shot. And if you've not ever used the Big Shot before, be sure to check out my video on how to cut um, and emboss and do different things with Big Shot. But once you cut that out, this is what you have. Got two pieces like this. And at this point, I'm going to set these aside and grab my scoring tool because we're going to score the, each of the bottoms of these. I've already done one. But basically, you're going to score in about a half inch. All right, so let me get this into view. This particular paper trimmer I'm using is the Stampin' Trimmer, and it has two blades. The dark blade is for cutting, so I'm going to move that out of the way. The lighter one is our score blade, and I'm going to line this up. I'm looking right here at the half-inch mark. That's really all you need, just a little something to give it a good crease. Now I've got both of these. I've gone ahead and added sticky strip to this one. I'm going to peel off that red layer, that red backing. And now, let me pull these into view so I can see them better too. I'm going to stick those together. You have to hold your tongue just right to make sure that gets on there. It's a little off, but you know what? It'll actually work just fine. All right, so now that we've got those pressed together, I'm going to line the tops up and get my circle punch. You'll notice in this particular sample, I've punched both sides all the way through, and I'm going to do that again. So that is using the one and one fourth inch circle punch. Now I'm just going to have to line that up the best I can. I haven't really found a handy tip or anything on lining this up so it's just kind of a my best guess hey not bad a little bigger on that side but hey I'm gonna go with it okay so now that we've got that done let's look at doing our little embellishment now here I did the melon mambo scallop circle but on this one I'm gonna do a daffodil delight circle also another way to conserve paper is you're gonna take this circle we just punched out and I'm going to stick it on there just like that. Let me grab my snail. And that'll be the center. The other thing I'm doing a little bit differently, and you'll have an extra for something else, is I am, in my original, I used the Chow Baby stamp set and did the Happy Day. But in this one, I wanted to use a round array. This is a very cute new stamp set. And we're going to do the For You. And then we're going to punch that out with the 7th, 8th inch scallop. And I'm using Marina Mist. And the best part is if you purchase the Around Array and the Scallop Circle punch together, you get a 15% discount. Not bad. So we'll just ink that up with a little Marina. Set that aside. Always punch, stamp first then punch, and then you always punch upside down so you can see where you're going. There we go. So that I'm going to put on with a dimensional. Oh, this is turning out so cute. I'm just going to put that in the middle. Now let's get my Hershey bar, and I went ahead and put a little sticky strip on the back of that as well. Now the trick is getting the red liner off. Well, there it goes. Come on. Well, I thought it was a good idea to put some sticky strip on here, but you know what? We may not even need it. Yeah, look, it's just coming right off. 
Eh, let's forget that. Because you can actually put that in there, wrap some ribbon around. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to move. You know what? Let's do it this way. That'll give it a little stability anyway. Alright, and so now we're ready to put on our little scallop on the front. Yay, that's turning out so cute. Now you know what? We could, if you want to put a little adhesive on the top to hold it together, or I even had on this one, see how I tied some ribbon around it? This one I put a little bow on top. Um, oh yeah, let's, I was thinking even doing something like this where you just run it through and tie a knot, and then that kind of holds the whole thing together. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah, there you go. So just another fun, cute way to create a little treat for someone special. Thanks so much for watching, and for more project ideas, be sure to visit my website, stampintx.com.